Um, thank you for having me here this evening, and thank you for all of, to all of you for coming up. I think it's a good sign that people were serious about defending the people who were out on the streets fighting for things <coughs> that we already believe in. And I think we have to recognise that throughout history, at the point at which any political movement or any revolutionary movement has become effective or a threat in any way, at that point they will feel the full force of the state through the government and through the police. And we have to recognise that at this moment, that point in time has come for our movement. And tomorrow, pro-democracy activists will be put on trial. Not pro-democracy activists in Bahrain, or in Yemen, or in Egypt, or in Tunisia, but pro-democracy activists in this country will be They will be put on trial at the City of Westminster Magistrates Court tomorrow for playing a role in the student demonstrations of late last year and early this year. These demonstrations, as we all know, were followed by a media witch hunt only days <coughs> after the demonstration. We were seeing photographs of so-called violent thugs being published in national newspapers and appeals for protesters to come forward and give the police information on their fellow students. But in recent weeks, particularly since the death of Smiley Culture during a police raid on his home, and particularly since the charging of PC Simon Harwood over the death of Ian Tomlinson. It has been the police themselves who are coming under increasing scrutiny for the role they play at the demonstration. <coughs> now, as we all know, one of those people being charged tomorrow is Alfie Meadows. As we all know, Alfie needed emergency brain surgery to save his life after the injuries he suffered at that demonstration on December the 9th. The same demonstration at which I was twice dragged out of my wheelchair by members of Metropolitan Police. But apparently, Alfie's survival is too much for the police to stomach. So, tomorrow morning, he will attend court to answer to a charge of violent disorder. Now, violent disorder, one of the definitions I have found for this charge, is when three or more people, including the accused, use or threaten unlawful violence. And the conduct of them taken together is such as would cause a person of reasonable firmness to fear for their personal <coughs> safety. In fact, there was a group of three or more people who put me and many other people in fear 
of our personal safety on December the 9th. They were wearing high vis jackets with the words Metropolitan Police. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That was the group of people I personally witnessed threatening and carrying out violent acts. Not only on December the 9th, but on every single student demonstration I attended. So the obvious question is, why is it not this group of three or more people attending court tomorrow? How long will the culture <coughs> of impunity remain? How long with a tradition of complete unaccountability be allowed to continue? These are the questions that the family of Smiley Culture continue to pose. These are the questions that I am sure the families of Sean Rigg, of Ricky Bishop, of so many people who have died in police custody continue to pose. Now, in prosecuting the student protesters, the police have been afforded the luxury of months of evidence gathering time from an array of sources that include the newspapers who published those photographs of demonstrators whilst calling for their arrest the CCTV, which watched our every move on those demonstrations, and I'm sure, by the way of logic, also watched the every move of the police on those demonstrations. But we don't see that camera footage. And their own <coughs> forward intelligence team, who I would have to admit often display a lower level of intelligence than my one-year-old sister. <laughs> it is my belief that the true test of a political movement is not the force with which it rises up, <coughs> but the unity with which it defends its people when they are under attack. <laughs> now, in the aftermath of the Gaza demonstrations outside the Israeli embassy in London during Operation Karsled, which took place two years before the student demonstration, this defence campaign was criminally non-existent. People were put on trial, assigned state-appointed lawyers, and encouraged to plead guilty at every given opportunity. Completely disproportionate sentences were handed down to set a precedent and to send a clear message. You have a right to protest, but firstly, not if you are young Muslim males, and certainly not if you exceed the boundaries that we deem appropriate. Now, I think we have to learn two messages from what happened there. Firstly, we mustn't let that happen again, and secondly, I think we have to recognise the importance of connecting our struggle here with a global anti-imperialist struggle. And we have to recognize that the people being attacked by our government and by our police in this country are part of the same struggle as the Libyan people who now have our bombs 
falling on their homes. And the Afghani people who have suffered 10 years of occupation of our army. And the Iraqi people who suffered with a million lives our foreign policy. And so the question for us is how do we build this movement? Obviously, <coughs> it is a long struggle, but it has to begin somewhere. And I think there would be no better time and place than here and now. Now, earlier on, uh, Merlin was mentioning the equality movement that we were both involved in. And I can announce that our next public meeting, which will be entitled Who Polices the Police, will take place at Lambeth Town Hall in Brixton on Friday the 1st of July at 7pm. And I encourage you all to attend. But I just want to, and there are leaflets going around about that meeting. I just want to finish on this note. As we demand justice for Alfie Meadows, as we demand justice for Smiling Culture, and as we demand justice for all victims of police brutality, we must also reassert a basic political point when our communities are attacked by the government and attacked by the police, we have the right to demonstrate our political views in any way we deem appropriate. And we will exercise that right. When we go outside Westminster Magistrate Court tomorrow morning, we will demand that these <coughs> show trials, this political witch hunt, is thrown out of the court and that the real perpetrators of violent disorder at the student demonstrations are put on trial instead. Thank you very much.